Today on Animal Fact Files, we're going to be looking at the swan goose. If you like learning facts about animals, then subscribe to this channel so you can stay up to date on all the new content. No, not a swan who is technically a goose, but a goose who was named due to its similar appearance to a swan. They're fairly large birds with long necks, which helps to contribute to their swan-like appearance. Swan geese. Swan gooses? Probably swan geeses. Ah, okay. Swan geese are natively found in Mongolia, southeastern Russia, and northern China. It's here that they will mate and reproduce. The breeding season usually takes place between April and September. During this time, single mating pairs or loose groups of geese can be found in wetlands, near lakes and rivers, and even in mountainous regions. The females will lay around six eggs and incubate them for about a month, after which they will hatch and be super adorable. I mean, not that eggs can't be adorable as well. During the winter months, swan geese migrate south, heading towards central and eastern China for the winter. It's been observed that during this migration, swan geese will stop along their journey as opposed to flying straight through to their destination. They don't breed during this time, and usually large flocks will gather together in order to molt or shed their feathers in preparation for their journey. That's gotta be a lot of feathers. In the past, it was more typical to see these birds migrating to Japan and Korea, but hunting and habitat loss have reduced their numbers significantly. It's because of this that the swan goose is considered a vulnerable species. Thankfully, many sites the geese frequent are currently under protection in an effort to help conserve this species. It's nice to know that there are people looking out for them. The swan goose is typically around 35 inches long from tail feathers to the tip of the beak, and they weigh about 7 pounds. Wild swan geese have all black beaks with bright orange webbed feet. Their head and neck are bicolored, the top half being dark brown and the bottom half being nearly white. This fades to a creamy beige present on their breast plumage. Their wings are brownish gray. I say wild swan geese display these colors because there's actually a domestic variant that has been bred for centuries. The domestic swan goose is called the Chinese goose. They're usually white all over. The reason for this is because white plumage, or feathers, are considered more aesthetically pleasing. Basically, people think that they look better. One easy way to distinguish a domestic swan goose from a wild one is the bulb that appears on the domestic type's beak. It's also pretty common for domestic geese to develop orange patterning on their beaks, where the wild swan goose doesn't present this trait. Like I said, their beaks are all black. Also, Chinese geese can't fly. Okay, so they can kind of fly, but it's more like a gliding than anything. Because they've been raised for various reasons, one being for consumption, it was pretty typical for the biggest, fattest birds to be bred. So they kind of just got too big for their wings. They're actually somewhat anatomically different, or basically their body looks different from the wild swan goose in that they stand up more straight. These weight and structural differences lend to the domestic Chinese goose being unable to truly fly. Which is kind of crazy if you think about it, because the wild ones migrate so far. They were also domesticated for their eggs and because they make really good lawnmowers. Yup, lawnmowers. That's because their diet consists of mostly grasses. They're like goat geese. Symbolically, the goose holds many meanings, especially when referring to Chinese poetry. Based on which direction the bird is flying, a poem can suggest the season in which it takes place. A lone goose can symbolize the loss of a loved one, as they are typically seen in pairs or groups. They can also represent change as seen through their migration. For more information on the swan goose or Chinese goose, feel free to browse through my citations in the description below. Let me know which animal you'd like to see next in the comments. Thank you for watching and give a thumbs up for more Animal Fact Files.